Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and I'm here to show you five tricks for Mac OS that can only be enabled through the terminal command line. Let's begin. Tip number one. Unlike Windows File Explorer or previous versions of Mac OS, it's really hard to identify in the Finder window where exactly you are in your file system because there's no file path displayed at the top of the window. Now you can right click the top of the window and it will show you a very quick drop down menu of where you're located in your drive. But if you wanna see this quickly all of the time, which I often do as I have several folders deep, uh, the best way to do it is to go to this webpage, copy the first command, and then you need to paste it into the terminal, which you can just paste and then press enter. And you'll notice that the top of the window now displays the entire file path, which is really great to know where you are at any given time. Tip number two, was that first one too nerdy? This one's a lot easier. As you can see, I have the dock on the left side of my screen and I admittedly don't show the dock because I don't really use it, but I know a lot of people love and swear by the dock and have several applications inside of their dock and they might want a better way of organizing them by category or by application type. This is a really cool command. If you scroll down and copy this first line in the second section, you'll be able to open terminal and then paste it once. Once you've done that, type or paste kill all dock. And then you'll notice that there's a little blank square in the dock. You can drag this to anywhere you want and it will divide certain sections of your application dock up, which is great because you can organize stuff by internet, by productivity, by video editing, however you want. Now, the more of these you want, you simply paste the command several times. So if I want five spacers, I go paste, 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 kind of annoying and then I type kill all dock and now there are five spacers that I can move wherever I want in my dock. If I want to get rid of them it's really easy you just hold them and drag them off like any other application and then they will poof away. A very very handy trick for those that have a big dock and want to slim down. Tip number three this one I swear by. Now I know that a lot of people minimize their windows and put them in the dock, but I'm not a big fan of this because if you're doing something else, you can't use the quick toggle, which is done by hitting command and tab to get to the window again. You actually have to click the icon in the dock, which is silly and it doesn't make any sense. So rather than minimize apps, I actually just hide them. If you press command H, they'll hide and they go away immediately, but the second you want them back, you just toggle back over and they pop right back up. It's really handy. So I'm in Safari, command H, if I want that window back, I just bring Safari back to the front window and it pops everything back in motion. Furthermore, it's a lot faster because it doesn't have to do the minimize transition. So I've established that I'm a big fan of the hide toggle. The one downside to hide is that it oftentimes permits you to forget that you have something running. The advantage to the minimize thumbnail is you see it there all the time. The problem with hide is it would just imply that there's no window open in Safari when there actually is and the app is hidden. So there's a really cool terminal trick. If we just copy this line and then we paste it into the window, the dock will kill itself really quickly. And now we have Safari. If I hide Safari again, you can see that it goes slightly translucent. What if I wanna hide the terminal? See that it goes slightly translucent. So it allows you to see what applications have a window that's open, they're just hidden. It's really, really handy and I totally love this method over using minimize. Tip number four. I mentioned that I'm not a big dock guy, so I usually leave it hidden on the side of the screen. And this is a fine method, but the slight problem is, and this is super nitty gritty, and I know most people are going to go, are you kidding me? But I think it takes a little too long to pop out. When I wanna see what I wanna see, I want it to be immediate. And this transition and very slight delay, probably, I don't know, a couple hundred millisecond delay before it pops out, is annoying enough to me that I'm not a big fan of using the dock ever without this command. If you type this into the terminal window, the first one, and then we will kill the dock subsequently, you'll notice, and the dock takes a couple seconds to come back, that it immediately pops out. No transition, it's just boom, it's there. Boom, boom, boom. I love this because it's so much quicker to access your dock without any delay. Now let's say that's a little abrupt for you and you want a slight animation, but you still want it to be faster. If you copy and paste that second line, you'll see that the dock comes out but with a slight popping motion, so it's not quite as immediate. A very fast transition, but a transition nonetheless. It's great if you wanna hide your dock and get it out of the way, but also be able to access it super quickly. Tip number five, 
Admittedly, this one has nothing to do with Terminal, but don't get mad because it is awesome. As you guys know, macOS has wonderful built-in wallpapers, and there's actually a ton of other wallpapers that are already available on your Mac that for whatever reason don't show up in system preferences. To find them, open Spotlight and search Default Collections. You'll get to this folder with four subfolders that have these beautiful photos that are really high resolution that you can use for your desktop wallpapers. Stuff from space, to nature, to nature patterns. They're really, really pretty. And to apply them, you just drag them over or you can right click and then press set desktop picture. It's a really, really cool trick. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna sit back and watch Star Wars in ASCII. Yes, I can do this. And you can too. It's included as well on that website as a bonus terminal tip to make up for tip number five. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Stay snazzy.